Time now for our Wall Street Week Daily segment. The host of Wall Street Week, David Weston, joining us as he does every day at this time. And David, you sit down with a lot of interesting folks, but you actually had a chance to sit down with really one of the legends in economics and really independent research out on Wall Street at Hyman a little bit earlier. Yeah, and you said it, Romain, yeah. and we had those strong numbers out on Friday, and yet they're still projecting a recession. So we sat down with Ed Hyman. He is the vice chair of Evercore and the chair and founder of Evercore ISI. And we asked him why he still thought we were going to have a recession, at least by Q3, despite those numbers. So this is the toughest time I've had. Uh, I've never forecast a recession this far in advance. So this could be the end of my career. <laughs> but uh, early on, uh, I became uh, a follower of Milton Friedman and the money supply. And the money supply is now contracting, and it's associated with the banking crisis. Bank deposits come down. And then uh, somewhere along the line, I picked up the yield curve, and as you know, it's, it's significantly inverted. Uh, and then, just as a follower of the policy, you have QT as the third uh, item. Uh, there's no history on that, really discussing it or analyzing it. But then I've also found that uh, if we're tightening and other central banks aren't tightening, it's not so bad. But if we're tightening and other central banks are tightening, it makes our tightening much more aggressive on the economy. So obviously you have all those at work, and they take about a year and a half to impact. If you can believe this, uh, John Maynard Keynes wrote a paper in 1923 saying it took 16 months. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, the economy right now is very strong. It's amazing. Uh, but uh, I'm patient, and I, I think that by the summer, we'll, we'll start to see a recession unfold. Uh, so is the, uh, the Fed caught in between? Because the, uh, the Fed is looking at a lot of the numbers you're looking at, for sure. Uh, and they're seeing some slowing in some places. At the same time, you look at those jobs numbers. And by the way, look at the wage numbers that were up five-tenths of a percent, I believe, uh, in the last n round. Uh, does the Fed have to keep those rates high? I don't think so. So, uh, you know, I'm pretty senior. <laughs> I've been through a lot of these things. And, and the lags are real. I mentioned the, you know, 06, 07. Uh, and it feels to me uh, that the Fed gets a number and they say, well, we have to adjust for that number. And I'm saying, no, no, it takes a year and a half to see or a year to see uh, what you've done. Uh, but the least convincing part of my forecast is what you put your finger on. Uh, the wage number was up uh, uh, half a percent, which annualizes to six, and uh, year on year is about four and a half. Uh, and if productivity was, say, two or one, you're not, you know, you're still not getting very close to the Fed's target. So that, that part has been the most troubling, uh, the, the lack of evidence that wages are slowing. They're slowing a little bit, but it's been pretty grudging. At the same time, the Fed has obviously raised rates a lot and fairly fast, a lot of people think. And the nominal rate that they have, the federal funds rate, as you pointed in research, is not really the effective rate, given the fact we have quantitative tightening at the same right. time. So the, uh, the Federal Reserve uh, in San Francisco has this measure you're referring to, and it puts the, fun, the funds rate at about six and a half. Uh, wages, as I mentioned, uh, the average hourly earnings were about four and a half. So by the standard measure, uh, five and a quarter for funds rate or adjusted for QT, uh, it's more than that. Uh, so uh, I feel pretty good about our forecast until I walk over here to see you. <laughs> <laughs> and the street traffic is like, it's crazy out there. Restaurants are busy. And uh, so it's, right now, the economy is, is pretty strong, but I, th I think it's slowly slowing. And we'll keep slowing. And as I mentioned, the you know when it's impacting when you get a financial crisis. Uh, so we also have the Fed tightening into not necessarily a crisis in banks, but certainly a lot of uncertainty about the banks. We've had the regional bank problems since Mar yeah. March. Uh, what is that doing for the Fed? Is that helping the economy slow down at all? Are we seeing any evidence of that? Uh, no. <laughs> <laughs> but, I mean, we've definitely seen the, the banks in trouble. Uh, and you've seen a huge decline in deposits. They're down about 5 percent, which hasn't happened since the 1930s. Uh, but credit growth is still strong. Uh, and 
on the Friday's numbers, uh, they were up uh, about 9% year on year on the uh, uh, CNI loans. And, and then they have the monthly numbers on consumer borrowing. And uh, they're up like, I don't know, 12 or 15. It's, it's, so I'm forecasting the economy <laughs> to slow down. Now, you do get into a funny situation when it starts to weaken uh, is you start to get people borrowing for uh, a problem. You know, they're running out of money and so they are running tight and so they tend to borrow money. Uh, so credit expansion tends to be a lagging indicator. Uh, so you are forecasting a recession, even if you're a little nervous about the forecast, but you're forecasting a recession. So let's assume you're right that we go into negative numbers in Q3, Q4. How long does it last? Um, I'd say at least through the first or second quarter of next year. So there, uh, these are the possibilities. No recession, the soft landing, hard landing, or severe recession. Uh, I don't see a severe recession. That would be something like 89 or 2008, 2009. But there aren't the excesses for that. But uh, I'm in the hard landing camp, uh, 5%. Uh, but I'm always thinking, you know, what, what am I missing here? And it's possible maybe none of those are right. Maybe we just have an extended period of time of very slow growth, maybe for several years. Uh, we don't get a recession. <laughs> we don't get a hard landing. But it's a uh, you know, extended period of very slow growth. Uh, that's not my best guess. Uh, but uh, always thinking about alternatives.